cabin. See only two people in each one. <laughs> Hi! Welcome to the cabin. Thank you for showing us around. <laughs> we are thankful. So good to see you. Thank you. So, Tell us about your, your space. <laughs> this is a typical two birth cabin. Okay. So I have lived here for about a year and I have um, kind of made some adjustments, not adjustments, but like a few additions that have made it really homely. So I'm really proud of my cabin space. <laughs> you should be. Welcome it's so cute. Welcome to bunk space. <gasps> So, yeah, most of the places, they're about this size. They don't all have a window, but I feel very blessed to have my little window to the outside. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so we have this nice wide window sill, and a lot of people like to, like, sit there, read there. Yeah. Um, they all come with a chair like this, and then a desk and a desk chair. Can I come in here and yeah, see this little? So in. there's a desk. You have this lovely chair. Oh, okay. another chair. Another chair trash bin. Everything kind of on the desk and the wall are things that I've added in mm -hmm. different ways. Does this mirror come with it? Yeah, the mirror <gasps> is attached. I can't move it if I even if I wanted to, but it's a nice, it's a nice location for it. Yeah. So I appreciate it. So you can check if your clothes yeah. are MSA in the morning. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, we have this little this light with a dimmer switch, which, which is, is a little known cool. fact that it's a dimmer so you can make it lighter or That's darker. Very cool. And uh, yeah, one thing to be aware of is your cabin will come the duvet is this color so it's a nice violent shade of gray very neutral goes with everything <laughs> you also get a set of towels that are the same color um but yeah immediately after i got here i kind of opted for something a bit different <laughs> a little a little brighter a little bit more like your personality I, so I, i'm in love with my yellow duvet it makes me very it's happy beautiful in here and i see you've yeah. done something here with the tv yes so normally there is a screen in your room and you can use it to watch um community meetings or if there's a few channels that you get i have literally never turned it on i don't really watch tv but i do love african fabrics so i have covered it with a it's lovely, cute. Um, bird fabric and then yeah you have this like, Curtain. How about storage? Like, what's the storage situation like? So, one thing to know, I, I have this shelf down here, but that came from Ikea. I added that myself. Okay. Um, so, I I wanted just a bit of extra storage, so I did mm -hmm. that. Um, but, yeah, you have a few drawers. On your, In one closet. On your desk. And then you have some closet storage. So, you can see I've got some arts. I've got some craft supplies. I've mm -hmm. got my clothes. Oh, yeah. And then under the bed, too. This is where Whoa. I keep my shoes. That's pretty, that's a lot. So all my sandals just kind of get thrown in a pile yeah. on the bottom. And then, yeah, I've got a few different pairs. And then on the other side um, is where I have my suitcase. Mm. And how does it work with your yeah. cabin mate? Like, where does... So we have a fridge. My cabin mate was, this is her bunk space. Um, so that's her space. So mm -hmm. I just... So we don't, we're not looking in, but you see how it's, it is very private. Like yeah, you really so you are. A curtain and you can't see in. And so you can have kind of your own space. I like when it's light out to let like a natural light come through. Mm -hmm. But then when it's dark, you do kind of have to flip on a light to be able to get back to your space. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah. The windows are really nice and big. So I feel like this is bigger than any window that I have in my room at home. <laughs> Oh, it's shift. really pretty. I really like it. I like it. And this is your little shared space for yeah, you and your cabin mate. Space. We have some frid a fridge. I just did the dishes and so they're drying right here. And then I've got my little like space where I keep anything that I need to take when I go mm -hmm. out. Like my if I need a mask or my uh, ID, it goes in there. Okay. Um, and then this is something that I bought. It doesn't come with the cabin, but I got my little Kettle. one liter <laughs> water bottle, which I adore. My baby. <laughs> So that was a little treat for myself. That's a cute treat. And I can drink tea in my cabin without going to the dining room. Yeah, because when you go out to upside of your cabin, as you know, on the ship, it might be, it, you might have planned for a five minute trip to the dining room and it could be three hours it late. Could be, it could know, be. It's called ship traffic. So. Yes. <laughs> but, but so the other bunk space, it's really similarly sized. It's just that it's on the inner mm -hmm. side. So there's not a window, but it's kind of, it's pretty much this part of the cabin. Mm -hmm. And then this part here is the hallway. So okay. um, what I said to my cabin mate is, you know, if you, this is your chair, if you want to like put anything on this wall, yeah. like that's just kind of feel free. Yeah. I was like, feel free, go for it. Um, and then we have a bathroom at the entrance. So 
So mm -hmm. on, the, on the GLM, um, there's climate control. So if you're on the AFM, it's not the same, but um, you can control, you can make it a little hotter, a little cooler in your cabin. And then, um, oh, which are similar to all the other ones. Yes. Yeah. Woo. And, um, <laughs> yeah. So we each have one side of like there's a cabinet behind the. Okay. Yeah. So you just get half this. So okay. We each have one side. Nice. Um, in there. Do most people um, have cabin mates? Do some people just get these rooms all to their like to themselves, or do they tend to be full? Great question. Generally, when we're in a field service, everyone in a double cabin should expect to have a cabin mate. Um, if you have a position where like you have a, over a certain number of people reporting to you, mm -hmm. or if your position requires a certain amount of confidentiality then you would qualify for a single cabin, so you wouldn't have a cabin mate. Um, so okay. like certain positions in chaplaincy and um, just like in a supervising position, which mm -hmm. I don't have, um, would go into a single cabin and they'd have that, that space for themselves just to kind of, you know, helps, helps reduce the stress <laughs> and kind of manage that role. Um, and then, yeah, there's certain like officer positions, obviously, like if, if you're an officer, yeah, um, a maritime captain. officer, you know <laughs> that you have to have a, a single cabin and that kind of thing, the captain and yeah. that sort of thing. And then if someone comes with their family, obviously, even if they qualify for a single cabin, then they'd be in a family cabin instead. Oh, really? Um, okay. Or a couple's cabin. Yes. Because then you can live with your family. Yes, so, yeah, that's so a there's, plus. <laughs> that is a plus. <laughs> it's like, imagine if you weren't allowed to live with your family. I know. So there's, so I, from what I've heard, and correct me, there's the double cabins, there's single cabins, guest cabins, flex cabins, yes. family cabins, and yes. couple cabins. Am I missing any? I don't think so. <laughs> I mean... I will yeah. list them here. Yeah. Those are the cabin types. They're gonna be listed right here. Kate's getting really good at the YouTube. I can't stop. I think you're starting my own channel. That's why. Well, this is really helpful. I know people were just curious to get an idea of what kind of cabin they mm -hmm. will be coming into. Mm -hmm. So, and this is beautiful. Thank and you. obviously, depending on how long you're here, you have the chance to make it your own versus if you're only here for a little while, it might be harder to make it look like this, mm -hmm. but still a very nice space. You can make it, bring your own photos to put up on the wall. Magnets, you, you need magnets. have things that inspire you and motivate you. Yeah. And yeah, that's kind of what I put up on the wall. I guess where I'm from. Like. I'm, getting, I'm getting a <laughs> feel. Strong Minnesota. Minnesota? Oh my little, gosh. Little license plate over here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so. <laughs> this is great. Well, thank you for showing us your beautiful yeah. cabin. Yeah, you're so welcome. And this is, yeah. anytime, oh. have tea. With your only, as long as it's only one liter of tea. Did somebody say one liter from water boiler? <laughs> <laughs> In our chicken trousers or pants. Yeah. I'm trying to say trousers for the UK, but chicken pants. <laughs> I'm sensitive. Oh, thank you, Kate. Yeah.